So guys, we finally made it. We finally reached a thousand subs. The fact that we reached this number in such a short, short amount of time, amount of time is just simply phenomenal. phenomenal. I'm, I'm I can't just thank amazed. you guys thank you enough. All so much for thank you so much for supporting the channel. But seriously, I am really grateful for you guys. In fact, I think I'll return the thanks by doing a giveaway. Just a heads up, it's not an iPhone. But what is it? It's going to be announced at the end of the video. But first, uh, a few other things. In addition to Twitter and Instagram, I'm also now on TikTok. Don't forget to follow me there. Hey everyone, CRJ here. I'm now on TikTok. You know, uh, let's see what this app has to offer. See what the hype's about. Five minutes later. You know, North Korea, drop the nukes. We won't stop you this time. And since I need a couple more hundred hours of watch time in order to monetize the channel, let me drag this video out a bit more by giving you some cool behind-the-scenes trivia about, well, the kitchen. Now, by looking at my kitchen, you think everything looks new. I have a stainless steel fridge, a stainless steel oven, and a stainless steel dishwasher. And you'd be right. Three years ago, I moved into this house, and a month later, I started Taste Cutting Kitchen. But it wasn't always like this. The house needed a serious renovation. In fact, before we came in with some sledgehammers, the kitchen was in a complete time warp of 1982. Well, apart from a relatively modern stove. Worst part, the kitchen had tile countertops. Seriously, those things are a pain to maintain and impossible to work on. If you can replace them, do it. So we came in and modernized the hell out of the kitchen. In fact, let me show you something. Now you can see me pretty well. Well, this opening wasn't always here. This whole thing was just a wall up to about right here. And you know what? Thank God we got rid of it. Because if we hadn't, filming in my kitchen would be three times more harder. But the biggest pain by a country mile was the living room. Upon buying the house, we found out that the living room was actually an extension. And a very cartoonishly out of code extension at that. Our living room used to have an exposed wood ceiling. But one thing, it's completely fake. In fact, it wasn't even real wood. Upon demolition, we found out that there was absolutely no cross beam. Oh, you see these piles of roofing layers? That's because the living room used to be a flat roof extension. Then come time to add a proper triangular roof, the old homeowner simply built the old roof on top of the new one. And I don't know about you, but a roof on top of a living room with no cross beam is a disaster of waiting to happen. Thankfully, before anybody was pancaked to death, we got around to installing real cross beams. Our home used to have a wood-burning fireplace right in the area of where our TV is. Unfortunately, upon renovating, we found out that the fireplace isn't attached to anything, so that had to go. These discoveries were so catastrophic, they set the project back months. But despite all these problems, we worked through it, and now, I'm bringing content to you from my kitchen. Okay, enough starting. Let's get to the reason you really clicked on this video in the first place, the giveaway. So what am I giving away? The giant chocolate coin molds I made from a previous episode. I don't really have much of a need for these, but you probably do. Three different Japanese Kit Kat flavors, like chocolate orange, matcha, and roasted soybean. They don't expire till September, so you're okay. And since the time is right for one of these, a bar of antibacterial soap. And the creme de la creme, an 8x10 poster designed and autographed by me. If you want one, don't worry. I've updated my Patreon. Just pledge $10 or more a month and you'll receive your very own autograph too. Oh, and uh, your names will be featured in the end credits of the show. And uh, don't worry, I'll disinfect everything before it goes in the box. Once again, thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. Oh, and uh, recipe videos resume next week.